Okay, let's get started on our last stop and jot for Module 5. Make sure to grab your Module 5 handout. Since our last stop and jot, content has centered around phonological awareness and the two subsets that comprise that overarching term, which refers to an individual's awareness of various properties of sounds within words. These two subsets are delineated by the sound units involved within their area of study. Phonological sensitivity awareness deals with larger units of sound at the word level, and phonemic awareness focuses on the individual units of sounds within a word. We then walk through each of the subsets of phonological awareness, examining the hierarchy of skill development within each area, as well as instructional tidbits and other key points of interest. Let's start our recap with phonological sensitivity awareness. Phonological sensitivity develops in stages based on a linguistic hierarchy of sounds that progresses from larger to smaller units of sound. These stages are identified as levels and each level involves working with the targeted sound units at various degrees of skill complexity. There are five levels of phonological sensitivity. Word awareness is an understanding that sentences and or phrases are made up of individual words and that words begin and end within the flow of speech. That we are able to hear how sounds chunk together to form words. Our sound focus narrows as we progress through the auditory processing skills of hearing words that rhyme, ending chunks of sounds, to syllable awareness where we listen for sound parts in the word, then to alliteration which focuses attention on chunks of sound containing the same initial sound, and finally to the highest level within this subset, onset rhyme. Onset rhyme draws our attention to two chunks of sounds at the word level, the sounds before the vowel sound and the sounds that contain the vowel and everything that comes after it. Once we had a general understanding of the auditory hierarchy within the levels of phonological sensitivity, we began to discuss the instructional aspects of teaching this to students. We walked through these level by level during our study of the module, so for now, just a few quick tidbits. First instruction should be fun wordplay, yet focused and intentional. It should be brief and regular 10 to 15 minutes a day at a nice brisk pace, mainly making students aware of sounds at the various unit sizes and providing time for them to play with the language. Also, there are a few specific activities designed for specific levels, but read alouds, songs, nursery rhymes, and playing with words in general, real or nonsense, is the best mode of instruction. We then move to the next subset of phonological awareness, phonemic awareness. Phonemic awareness is the most challenging level in the phonological awareness structure of sound study and a strong predictor of future reading success. The auditory work at this level focuses on the smallest unit of sound, the individual sounds within a word. We should always attend to the way we speak in the classroom, but at this level articulation is important as the focus is on the individual sounds. So if students are going to be able to work with those smallest units of sound, they must hear them clearly. We spend a little bit of time talking about the 44 phonemes of our language and the types of sounds we work with, but we are not going to recap those at this time because you will get a heavy dose of that content in the following module. Auditory development at the phonemic awareness level also progresses in levels, but all levels are working with the same size units of sound. Individual phonemes and each of the four levels should work with the focus sound skill in the initial, final, and medial positions. Phoneme isolation is the ability to hear a word and each sound within that word. Phoneme blending refers to combining spoken sounds into a word, and phoneme segmenting means to hear the whole word and be able to pull it apart, sound by sound. The highest level of complexity in phonological awareness is phoneme manipulation. At this level, you play with words by adding sounds, deleting sounds, and substituting sounds to make new words. After bringing to a conscious level the hierarchy of development within the phonemic awareness continuum, we discussed instructional considerations for teaching at this level of complexity and determined that the same basic, general instructional aspects that worked for phonological sensitivity activities work for phonemic awareness ones. Instruction should involve focused and intentional modeling, followed by fun and engaging wordplay. Lessons should be brief and regular 10 to 15 minutes a day at a nice brisk pace, mainly making students aware of sounds at the various unit sizes and providing time for them to play with the language while understanding what they are doing. There were really only two big concepts to review in this stop and jot, but they were loaded. 
lots of information related to the auditory skills involved in the two subsets of phonological awareness, phonological sensitivity awareness, and phonemic awareness. Before moving on, be sure to take a moment to think about these big ideas and how they might relate to your classroom instruction.